And we're back in studio. You're listening to The Hook, always online, thehookradio.com, with the marketing maverick, Jason Arsmont. My name is Josh Reno. We have a ninja. We have a ninja ninja. sighting. Yeah. (laughs) Now, let me ask you, if you call yourself a ninja, people shouldn't be able to see you. Yeah, well, it's true. logo ninja. <clears throat> oh, it, yeah, it, they have to be able to see me. But the ninja part comes because I'm a freelance assassin on the side too. Okay. Uh. Well, his name is Johnny Garcia, <laughs> and this is brought to you by Shadowbox Talents. Check what them out at shadowboxtalent.com. There are staffing, HR outsourcing. And you want to find out more about them. We actually have a show from two weeks ago. That's with right. Callie yeah. yep. and uh, Gary that were on with us that you can listen to them and find out everything that they do from that. So right now we've got to turn it over and find out what we're going to be talking about. This is our brand review segment. We try to get these in every week or so. And, you know, last time we got pretty good feedback in having uh, Johnny Garcia, the Logo Ninja, in studio with us talking about the donut shops. Yeah, so Yeah, that's right. So I I thought we'd be a good idea to have Johnny back in today. And um, so, yeah, welcome, Johnny. Thanks. Thanks for having me back. Awesome. So we're going to talk about Academy Sports and Outdoor today. You know, I did a little uh, I did a little research leading up to today's oh, show. Good. So interesting enough, do you know what they originally were when they started off? Uh, no. It was like 1700s. No, it wasn't that, wasn't that long ago, but... <laughs> They were Academy Tire Shop. Okay. So they were re- originally a tire shop, and then somewhere around 1980, they turned into like sports and outdoors. Right. Um, so I guess they were a tire shop, and then they were like a surplus store, and that's when they moved to Austin, and then some kid of the kid took it to Houston. Can I clarify this? You're not saying they are a tire, as in what you wear. You're like talking a, about tires, tires that you roll on. Like big wheels turning. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Whenever like you Tina say Turner, a tire you know? shop. I a, just wanted to make sure we got yeah, that yeah, clarification okay. in there. They are a tire. It still sounds the same. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, okay. bro. Yeah, so they would sell tires for cars. So now they're sports and outdoors. What yeah. a interesting mm-hmm. progression. So yeah. anyway, so that talk about brands evolving over time. We've talked about that before. Academy's definitely done it. So let's kick it off. I mean, I think most people are familiar with Academy. They've got 200 retail stores um, in multiple states uh, here in the in the U.S., what, what's your overall feel, man? Let's just kick this thing off. Let's, let's talk talk it up a little bit. I mean, you see it everywhere. Everybody goes shopping at Academy. Um, I think for the most part, as far as like a marketing or actually just a, from a branding standpoint, they've always had kind of a red, white, and blue, very stark white kind of feel to them. Yeah. Like a warehouse, like very lean, not a lot of overhead, but... I mean, clearly that's not the. I mean, they case. got that surplus feel still. Exa- that's that's exactly <laughs> that's the interesting. surplus yeah. thing. Yeah. Yeah, I, I I personally I feel like it's just it's somewhat disconnected. Like, you know, I know there's sports and outdoors, but mm-hmm. it's like they're not getting that emotional connection. We talk about when you do logos or brands, like you're supposed to convey or get some type of emotional reaction. Right. I don't get that from Academy. It just feels flat. Yeah, kind of like what you're saying, like a wholesaler or something. Exactly. I mean, it, it is a little bit bland. It kind of just, you know, it, it seems like it needs a little more soul, a little bit, a little, some, a little edge to it, a I guess. A little soul. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's that sports side. That doesn't sound like the same thing. If you say it needs a little soul, but you say it needs a little edge, because mm-hmm. when I think soul, I think of something more classy. Mm-hmm. Okay. But if it has edge to it, that seems a little bit more modern. I, I, th- I, th- I guess what I meant by soul is just kind of the idea that the audience or the target market suspends whenever they think of Academy. As far That's what I meant by soul. Okay. Um, you know, and I guess maybe to their credit, what they do is they sell leading brands. And so maybe, you know, the, the intention is to not compete with those leading brands. You know, they don't want to, you know, drown that out or dilute those leading mm-hmm. brands. So I get that, but I'm with you. Like, I think... Academy should have a little bit more feeling, a little bit more energy, a little bit more, you know, visual presence yeah. to a little, a little more richness in their branding. I think. Yeah, kicking off going to their website, uh, which is where we start most of these brand reviews, just because I think that's a great way. And folks listening, you know, if you're at your computer or something, go jump on, look at their website with us. I don't. I mean, again, and I'll say this: I shop at Academy. And I love the products. I love the service. I shop there all the time. So I may be a little bit more critical of the brand right now, but. That's because that's my job. You know, that's what the Maverick it, does. Exactly. Right? But we always talk about having that experience to every touch point. And for me, I didn't really get an experience. I don't know. What, what, what's your take from a design standpoint, John? Well, uh, yeah. I mean, it's it's like you said. It, it's it's you know, it's sports. It's outdoors. It's hunting, camping, apparel, and equipment. And I mean, that's a that's a big old broad band, right? That's a, that's a you know a broad thing of of items and products or whatever. Yeah. I mean, as as I, th- I think the that they have a little bit 
they're a little bit light as far as as far as like their their branding. It, it's 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 light. It you almost you almost don't get a real feeling of of really camping. You don't get a really heavy sports side. It's it's like you said. It's like that warehouse surplus. Yeah, it's kind of like vanilla down. It's watered <clears throat> yeah. down. I think. Who's their uh, competitor? They got a big one out Sports there. Sports Authority's one. Sports Authority, and then what's the other big? Dix. Dix is another one. Um, and that has the soccer balls, <laughs> like, the equipment. Like, they have yeah. they have sporting equipment in the logo, right? But have you seen? What do you think about their attempt to show that and what they're doing? I think Dix and Sports Authority are a little bit richer. You know, Sports Authority t- probably does a better job at tightening up the branding, and it, it definitely, to me, has more of a sports feel to it as far as once you go into the store and see what they have to offer, and their website and other marketing pieces as well. Dix, the only thing I'm really, in all honesty, familiar with is, is their logo. It's it's, it's kind of literal. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not a literal, I'm, you know, I, I like to... Well, you know, I think what happens is both of those companies or both those brands are focusing on the sports side of what Academy does. You know, Academy does sports and outdoors, right? So you got, you know, Sports Authority, you got Dicks, you got several other sports places. And then what's the outdoor world or Cabela's? Or, I'm not a big outdoor There's hunting Bass guy. Bass Pro Shop. Bass there, Pro Shop. There, There's folks that just do that. And they're camoed out. And I mean, yeah. these stores are unbelievable. Yeah. They're like 100,000 square foot facilities that are all like, you know, the outdoor yeah. enthusiast heaven. Yeah, right? that's richness. That's soul. That's what I was talking about. Yeah. There's like a there's a feeling you get. There's an idea that... Like that you want to just go walk around. If you're a hunter, <clears throat> I can see you just wanting to walk around. Yeah, because it, it has a texture to it. Right. Being able to focus a little bit more niche on what it is you're offering allows them to do that. And Academy's kind of tackled the sports and outdoors field. And so they, it's just a very broad category. I think it's going to be tough for them to... I think of them more as sports, but when you read their bio or their about us section on the website, they talk about the outdoor enthusiast part first, which mm-hmm. kind of surprised me. See, I don't agree with you at all. I'm only looking at this from from a client aspect, as a person that uses Academy a lot. I feel like they have taken over as the Walmart of the the sports and outdoors world, where they can do both. I mean, because whenever Walmart came out, what, what what did you know Walmart for? Whenever they first started years ago, they didn't have groceries in there. Right. There wasn't groceries. Cheap, cheap it was prices. just cheap <clears throat> prices. It, it, you could get your clothes. You could get a lot of stuff in there. And then they added the the grocery part of it. How many people go grocery shopping at Walmart? That's where you you know they're going to go. And it's a very mm. bland and vanilla feel whenever you look at Walmart. But they're the guys that that are making all the money. Yeah, I mean they did juice up their branding a few years back whenever they went from kind of that stark blue Walmart typographic logo to like that popping icon. Thing. Yeah, yeah, with like the little star. Exactly. And it it added, you know, it it made it slightly more contemporary and a little more up to date or whatever. So, I mean, they have they have improved their branding because it it was a lot more stark back in the day. And just for the record, we don't condone the use of steroids even though Johnny says they Juicing. juiced up. Yeah. Just um want to put that out there. Yeah. Yeah, I do. <laughs> Josh, I don't I'm mind. down with yeah. God. You know, it is interesting. So on their uh, description of themselves, they say they say there that they um, write stuff at everyday low prices. So, you know, I mean, maybe there's some validity there, Josh, that they are trying to be that wholesaler. They're going to put the savings into the products that they're selling rather than putting a big facade and, you know, putting on this big show. But you know who they are. You know more than than any of these other places. Well, you know who so they are and what they thing. have. So Academy obviously came into that space around 1980 and did a really good job of it. But are they losing market share? Could we say that hands down, obviously, they're losing market share to those other groups that we're talking about? I don't think so. You don't think so? Sports I, world or uh, outdoor world? What Cabello's? I mean, th- these places have huge facilities with just outdoor stuff. You think they've expanded you, the market, or do you think they've taken some of academies? Well, the fact that you didn't even you didn't weren't able to recall the well, name right away. I'm not, but that I'm tells not their me audience. Something. I'm not the audience. I don't hunt. It doesn't matter. But you shop at Academy because for the sports side. Okay, but you're still shopping at Academy, right? Right. Well, okay. I said that when we I entered, but they're losing market share to other folks who are doing a better job of marketing that specific category than they are. But read their tagline again. Well, low prices. Where okay. low prices live. So when? No wait. That's <laughs> no. That's, <laughs> that's somebody else. 
<laughs> so, so you know that whenever you go in there that you're going to get a, a lower price point, but you're still going to get what you're looking for. And it is the catch-all where I can go and I can get tennis shoes in there, yeah. which is what I get. Duck hunting license. But you can. Mm-hmm. You can get in, that in there. I also have gone in, bought tennis shoes, bought uh, a birthday gift for one of my, my son's birthday parties that he goes to for a younger kid for camping at the same time as I'm getting a, an Astros jersey for another kid. You can get it all at that spot. They have everything there. So for guys, it's a whole lot easier, I think, to shop there where yeah, they're yeah, not yeah. looking they're not specifically targeting like a certain kind of clientele. I where, just think their branding's flat. Okay. <clears throat> I shop yeah. there too. I'm with you, man. But you know, I look at their ads, I look at the the print mailer thing that they send out and I just feel like it's it's flat. I don't yeah. know. We were kind of talking about this, Johnny. Exactly. You know, and some of some of their stuff like their specifically their uh Black Friday sneak peek um campaign that they have going on now and you can see that like on their Facebook and their Twitter and stuff like that. It's actually they've actually done a really nice job. I've never seen any of this before. I've I only see this stuff like the you know red white and blue version. The red white and blue their their uh their newspaper um their you know their printed catalog thing and it looks and feels and tastes the same way it did in the early 90s, yeah. in the late 80s. Yeah, I don't know. Well, I guess we're not even doing a real brand review now. We're just talking talking about Academy, which I don't know, I guess is good. But you know, I think for me, from a marketing standpoint, even if you want to be the low price provider, you can still do that in a you know, a visually impactful and something that conveys emotional reaction. And I you know, I just don't see that from Academy. I don't I don't feel that. I shop there all the time. I get it. They're gonna have market share and they're gonna continue to do well. Nobody's gonna be able to drown them out completely. But when I see other players coming into the marketplace like Outdoor World and Cabela's and these stores who specialize in that particular part of the market, there's no way that they're not taking market share share away from Academy. I, I agree. I mean, from a designer's perspective, I think there's a lot of room for improvement. It's almost like a blank canvas. The The logo itself is kind of just a generic kind of look and feel. You know, it has it's a simple typographic thing, and then it has, you know, just one simple little swoosh. Um, a lot of times that that is all you need, but I, I I think of the Academy brand as a blank canvas. You can do yeah. a lot with it. Well, and we got to remember the economics of it, right? Two hundred stores. You know, if you were to change something, you're talking millions and millions of dollars to change store mm-hmm. signage and graphics and posters. Mm-hmm. And you know, I get it. I hear you. And I do love the brand. I love the store. I just feel like it's a little flat. Okay. So that's going to be my final review. Any any final thoughts, John? I kind of hope that they kind of keep going in this direction of the stuff that I'm seeing on their Black yeah, Friday stuff. Yeah, like that Black stuff. Friday stuff. It's, you know, it's it has some depth, it has texture, it has richness. So, you know, hopefully yeah. they, they're, they're changing some of their stuff. Yeah, hopefully their attorneys don't call us pissed off that we're yeah. bashing. <laughs> they were bashing their, their, their You're stuff. You're paying for yeah. it. <laughs> That's right. All right, we got our business tip of the day. It's coming up next right here on The Hook. It was 700 fence posts from your place to hide.